If you're thinking about having a hip replacement, one of the questions you probably have is how long will it last? In this video, we'll look at what we know about the average lifespan of a hip replacement based on studies which have looked at data from tens of thousands of people around the world. We'll also look at the most common ways that hip replacements fail and how likely you are to be satisfied with the outcome of surgery. As always, this video is for information purposes only and you should please speak to your doctor before making any decisions about your care. As with any mechanical device that moves, over time a hip replacement can wear out. The liner between the two metal components, the head and the cup, which is usually made of polyethylene, can wear out over time. This creates debris which can result in the implants becoming loose so they become painful and may need changing. Now this happens more quickly the younger and more active you are because you're wearing the hip out faster. If you have certain medical conditions and it also depends on the type of implant which is used. For example, the wear rate is lower with ceramic on ceramic bearings, but wear and loosening can happen to anyone. Another way that hip replacements can fail is through infection. Again, there are definitely factors that increase your risk of this. For example, the risk is almost double if you smoke and is increased by conditions which impair your immune system and certain medications. But even in someone who's completely healthy, infection can still happen. And often the bugs get to the hip via the bloodstream. For example, if you happen to have a chest or urinary infection at the same time. So this can happen to anyone. The bone around the hip can break, so it might need fixing. The hip can dislocate. People complain of difference in leg length between the two sides. And sometimes the exact cause of the problem is unclear, but you might have ongoing pain or stiffness or instability. So for lots of reasons, you may need redo or revision surgery, which is more extensive, has a longer recovery and less predictable outcomes than the initial surgery. So, what's the overall chance for an average person having a hip replacement of needing redo or revision surgery to change the implant? This study from Oxford, which was published in The Lancet, looked at national data from the UK. Overall, for people having a total hip replacement, the chance of having the implant still in place at 10 years was around 95%, and at 20 years was 85%. However, this depended heavily at what age the surgery was performed. For someone over the age of 70, the chance of needing revision surgery was around 5% or 1 in 20. But for younger people, and especially males, this went up a lot. And there does seem to be a sharp drop off in how long the implants last beyond around 15 years. In this paper, which looked at studies from around the world, it found that total hip replacement lasts 25 years in around 58% of people. Now it's worth remembering that these studies included different surgical teams, different implants and different patient groups. The risk of implant failure is in general determined by three things, implant factors, patient factors and surgeon factors. Now in terms of implant factors, certain combinations of stem and cup have better outcomes and the National Joint Registry or NJR is the largest registry in the world and it's definitely worth checking out as it gives you the implant survival for each of the main cup and stem combinations on the market so you can see these yourself directly. Surgeon factors are also important, in particular the volume of procedures they do each year, as are patient comorbidities. So far we've talked a lot about the hip replacement being changed or revised, but that's a different question to whether or not you'll be happy with it. If I gave you a pair of wooden clogs and told you they're much better than trainers because they'll last you longer and you're less likely to need to change them, you'd probably say, well, that's great, but are they as comfortable? And it's the same with the hip. Just because you don't need the hip revising, this doesn't necessarily equate to you being satisfied with it. You might have pain or stiffness that isn't bad enough to have a major operation, but means you're not quite happy. So what's the chance of this happening? Well, unlike total knee replacements, where around 15-20% to 20 of patients are not entirely satisfied with the outcome, hip replacement studies show that satisfaction rates are much higher and typically over 90-95%. to 95%. This is thought to be because the hip is a ball and socket joint, so easier to replicate biomechanically with implants, unlike the knee, which has a number of complex movements and is more difficult to replicate with metal and plastic. So, should you have a hip replacement? 
Well, for me, it comes down to balancing the risks with the benefits. Lots of people I see are in agony because their hip arthritis is waking them up at night time. They can barely walk and it's ruining their lives. So when I tell them about the potential risks of surgery, they're more than willing to go through with the surgery on that basis. However, for someone who's not quite sure if they're ready for it, there are lots of other things to do first that can be really effective at reducing pain, weight loss, exercise, physiotherapy, injections, and hip replacements is really at the end of the line when you've tried everything else. Because even if your operation goes well, you're well in yourself and you have the best surgeon in the world and the best implants, complications can and do still happen. As with any other major surgery, there are also some serious medical complications which can occur following hip replacements, such as heart attack, blood clots and stroke, which can be life-threatening. And again, depending upon your medical conditions you may have, the risk of this varies, so you should speak to your doctor so you know what the risk is for you. I hope you found that helpful and please remember to hit subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.